What's going on guys? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC and today I have a week four update for you on the test knives that we've been testing for June. I just woke up so forgive me I'm still like starting to function here drinking coffee but we have exciting stuff to talk about so let's get into it. Uh, we are almost at the end of testing for June. We've been testing K390 from Spyderco and Spy27 from Spyderco. Uh, this is not the final review. We will kind of like do that on the literal last day and like encapsulate everything into one video. This is just like the final update of how things have been going. So um, yesterday I did some, I guess you could say like impact testing on these three steels. Yesterday at work, I purposely kind of like basically hit them on a metal table to see what would happen to the edge, which I know sounds stupid, but like if you're going to test, you have to like actually test things, right? Other than cutting. And for me, um, one of one of the things that I do at work is like cutting all of the sides off of boxes, like probably, you know, 500 a week, honestly. Um, but when I'm in the cooler doing that, there have been numerous times where I had my knife and I went to go cut the side off and I did it too fast or wasn't paying attention and I hit um, like the side of a shelf in the cooler or something and it's like metal shelving units. There's a whole bunch of like metal rods and posts and everything in there and I have hit them numerous times and one thing that I take into consideration when testing is like what will happen if you accidentally hit a, a hard surface, whether it's metal or... Um, like wood or uh, glass, like what will happen to the edge? Is it going to chip? Is it going to break? Is it going to roll? Uh, what will happen with that, that type of impact? So that's something that I like to test during my testing. And um, yesterday I did that. We're getting close to the end of the month and I got to sharpen these guys anyway. So I figured whatever, if I annihilate the edge, I can fix it now anyway. So <clears throat> both of these K390s, were untouched by the impact testing. And all I did was take the knife and tap it on a metal work table at my job and basically see what happened. Gave it a good thwack and absolutely nothing on either of the K390s. I've mentioned in the prior videos that this one is run just a hair softer than this one, but both of them were completely untouched by that test, which is really cool. And um, I like that. I like, I like that I don't have to be super nervous about my edge um, when I have an EDC knife, when I choose one. I want to make sure that if I mess up, it's not going to just like completely melt, right? So let's talk about the Spy 27 because it was not the same case with that at all. Understandably, this is like, I don't want to say soft, but it's a... It, it's not at the same level as K390, I'll tell you that. Um, the Spy 27 did take a pretty good flattening area. Like I hit it and it just completely like crushed the edge in. Uh, now that's not to say that that's a bad thing. That's, I would rather have it just go flat than like literally break a piece of the edge off. I feel, at least for me, um, that's way easier to fix because basically what happened was you know, the edge is a bunch of little tiny microscopic teeth, and when I hit the table, they just crushed. So now they're flat, and all I have to do is use a stone to straighten each side back up and apex it and bring it back to sharp. When you, when you actually lose a piece of that metal, like if we have the edge like this and then you hit it on the metal table and like an entire piece falls out, now you have to bring the edge back to match where you lost that steel. Does that make any sense? You have to sharpen those teeth back down and bring everything down to the same level where you lost that material because you can't like take the piece of metal and like stick it back into the edge, if that makes any sense. So I would take like blunting my edge essentially over losing an actual piece of the edge any day. So even though it was impacted by that test, super easy to fix. Uh, that'll take me like literally minutes to just, you know, straighten that back out. But it's just like a nice flat spot that I can feel and you can see the light reflecting. Uh, like if I do this, I can see the, re the light reflecting on that area. But other than that, it's fine. So that's, a, that's what I expected from this, honestly. It's out of all three of these test subjects, this one is like the 
the softest. It's the, um, you know, the most like user friendly offering out of this whole grouping here. <clears throat> so I'll sharpen these all today and we will finish off our testing the, the last few days that I'll do the final review. But honestly, these are, these are all really good choices. And I am going to make a video about like my five favorite steals for EDC and then my five favorite like user friendly steals for EDC because if you're entering the game, I'm not going to tell you that my favorite steal is Maxima and that you should go get it too. Like, it's just not going to happen. Uh, if you are brand new, I would probably refer you to something like Spy27, you know, or 154CM, something easier to maintain, essentially. If you just have no idea what you're doing and you don't, you don't even know how to sharpen yet, you're just getting into the hobby because you're excited about it. You know, like I'm going to make a video about my my steals and then what I would recommend to you. So that'll be a fun video that's coming up maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, all of those knives are doing great. Like I said, I'll do the review in a few days when the testing is actually done. But the main reason I wanted to make this video today was because I have the knives in now for the July testing. And I wanted to show you guys because I'm literally so excited about them. And I think you guys will be too. And I don't think it's anything that anyone expected, honestly. So this is going to be like a fucking blast, okay? Oh, I'm missing one of them. Okay, so we'll do the least exciting to most exciting. Because you guys already know about this one. So in July, I'm going to test this one. Another pair of three. But I haven't tested Spider Coast S45 yet, which is what this is. So we're going to test this. And we're also testing these applied weapons tech scales, the non-skinny ones, because they're both running on one liner. <clears throat> both of these. We tested the skinnies. These are flipping amazing. But I want to test the regular ones and see which ones I like better at the very end of all of that. So this is one of the knives that we'll be testing. Okay. Fun stuff. But, but wait, there's more. We're also going to be testing the TRM Neutron again. So this came in yesterday. Thank you, TRM, for sending this over. I have a whole video on what happened with this and how I obtained this. If you want to know the backstory, go watch it. No, I did not pay for it. Uh, but go watch that video to get some info before you start, like, raging down in the comments. We're going to test this. And I'm really excited about it because here's the thing. Did, did I get this from TRM without having to pay? Yes. Did they maybe pay more attention to what they were giving me as opposed to other people because it was going to me? Maybe. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. They never, they never told me. Um, I'm testing the improvements, guys. With any company, I could get a good one. I could get a bad one. You could get a good one. You could get a bad one. A few people have reached out being like, well, they probably gave you the Nick Shabazz one, like the best of the best. Cool. I hope they did because the first one was a piece of shit. And guess what? I get shit knives all the fucking time. It's not like anyone knew I was getting this. And this edge, this bevel is literally twice the size of this one. You can't even see that bevel on camera, but this one you absolutely can. Sometimes you get lemons, sometimes you don't. It doesn't matter who you are. It just fucking happens. Um... So yes, this one is absolutely flawless. They gave me a flawless one. Thank fuck. Uh, I'm not testing, like, my flawless one. I'm testing the improvements that they've made in terms of all the stuff that I shit on in my first video. The scales being super uncomfortable. The pocket clip being poop. Uh, the centering being completely wonky. None of that exists this time, and I'm testing the improvements. This pocket clip is not the same as the first one I got. I'll tell you that. I don't know what they did different, but this is this is not the same as the first one. And the these scales are contoured way different than my first one, and this one's centered. So I'm testing literally, like, the qualities of this knife, not the quality of the knife. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what they're going to give you. So... <clears throat> that's exciting. This will be my, like, slicey dicey knife for July. They also sent me scales to try out if I wanted to make the knife lighter, I guess. Blue G10. They must have known I like blue because, like, they sent me the blue ones. 
and you guys know I'm obsessed with blue. So that's really exciting. I got this to try. So maybe like halfway through the month or something, we may switch to like the light version of it. Cause this, this titanium one, this is fucking heavy. I did not realize how heavy this was going to be. And this is like a tank of a knife. So, um, we will be testing that as well with the pair of three. And then something you guys didn't know I was getting. Da -da, da -da. What the? Spartan Harzy 3.25. Whew. This one was expensive. I had to save up for this one and sell a bunch of stuff. I've been selling stuff like crazy to fund other things to test on the channel. <clears throat> So I wanted to test this one because, in my opinion, this is more of a hard-use folder. This is not going to be a slicey knife at all. This is going to be my hard-use folder, and it's really thick, and I wanted to see how the quality lined up with, like, Chris Reeve, for example. They're very much in the same tier to me. So I picked up this, and uh, first impressions, wow. This is freaking cool. Came pretty sharp um there was no choil i i put that in myself right off the bat my eye was attracted to the monstrosity of this area there was no choil and like i genuinely don't understand how you're supposed to sharpen this without a choil there it was so messy and, and thick in this area. Like, there, I was just looking at it, and I'm like, wow, this is a $455 knife that I literally won't be able to sharpen unless I put a choil in. So I immediately took my little Dremel, it's not gonna focus, my little Dremel cutting tool and just did a tiny little notch in there so that when I do sharpen this at some point, I'll actually be able to. But this is fucking cool, guys. I'm so excited to beat on this for July. I... There's a lot of videos about these that I've seen floating around, but I haven't seen, like, a ton of testing, I guess. Like, people say that they tested it, but it's like, okay, for how long and what did you do? Did you, did you open your Amazon box with it? Like, let's actually do some shit with this. So, this will be carried all of July. I'm really excited to beat on it and show you guys what it's capable of. Uh, like I said, first impressions are just incredible. Everything about this is perfect other than it needing a sharpening choil but it is beautiful it is centered it is really really nice just look at that artwork i picked it up at dlt so it's the warthog one with the nuke coming in it's just awesome so hopefully you guys are just as excited as i am to test this i will tell you right away like the edge that it came with um, it, it's sharp, it, it's sharp, uh, but it's not, like, hair popping. I do like that the edge bevel on both sides is completely even. I really appreciate that. Um, it feels toothier than, like, other S45s that I've gotten in from Factory, like Chris Reeve, like, this does feel toothier and sharper, but because it's so thick, it's definitely not going to be a slicer, and I, and I... You know, I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I, I feel like the quality is there of this S45 VN right off the bat. So that's exciting. But I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I need to go, like, actually put clothes on and, like, get ready and not look like a dumpster fire. So um, I will see you guys on the next video. Go use your shit. Learn how to sharpen your knives. And I love you all. See you on the next video.